Hello everybody, praise be to God today and welcome back to Freddy Fish 4, the case of the Hogfish Rustlers of Briny Gulch. Well, we found one of the Hogfish Rustlers of Briny Gulch, and he's perfectly okay with letting two kids go in as long as they're dressed like a rustler, he's not the brightest bulb. Also, why is there only like one law enforcement officer in Briny Gulch? I don't know. But anyhow, we now know we need to get our proper get up. We need the purple 10 gallon hat, we need a bow tie, and we need a swanky belt buckle. Literally, a belt buckle made by a guy named Swanky. Alright, you hogfish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. Well, he, guess what, that guy had a telephone exactly like the one Fingers had in the Soda Loon. So, hmm, I wonder. Also, hey, the road construction has cleared up. I guess whoever was working here is done now. Booyah! We can explore the rest of the map, because there's a whole lot more to explore. Oh, hey, you two. They, they're probably the ones who cleared out the road, road construction. What's up? You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about six feet by six feet ought to do it. I love it. It's a hammerhead shark and a saw shark. <laughs> Just fantastic. <laughs> it's a shame it's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. Well, someone left a coffee stain on the plants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the square dance stage. Can't be round. It's square dancing. What size wood did they say they needed? Six feet by six feet. Oh, yeah. Remember that, kids. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks. Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. That's... Yep, that's fair. Kids aren't allowed to borrow tools from construction men. <laughs> you know. What's up here? Oh, hey, you remember this guy. He was the... <laughs> I guess he's finished serving his community service in the library. Hey, Gil. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. <laughs> I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal, Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. Please ignore the ghost in our house. Don't, don't, no need to worry yourselves with that. Oh, hey, dude, you dropped this. Let's read it out loud. Friendly you? reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Yeah, I don't think you're fooling anyone, Gil, so he's probably also in on the conspiracy, isn't he? <laughs> also, why is it like everyone we meet is a shark of some kind, and they're just like, Oh yeah, two fish, no worries, we're not carnivorous or anything. I see you're looking at the gum. You have a good eye, little lady. That happens to be Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum, the best, chewiest bubble gum available without a prescription. Oh, uh, that's the last pack available. All the rest is, uh, reserved. I'll let you have it in exchange for just two purple sea urchins. <laughs> okay, um, there's a lot to go on. First off, you need a prescription for some kinds of gum. Second off, it's rubber flavored? Also, what kind of company sells gum and, like, nuts? Not, not like, peanuts. No, like nuts and screws kind of nuts this is wow all right bro uh good luck oh hey what's all this over here 
Oh, well, he's also probably involved with the, uh, with the rustling conspiracy. Let's do crazy. Crazy? Crazy eye. Crazy eyes are good. Crazy eye McFluke. <laughs> yeah, he definitely looks. He's wanted for, uh, stage coach swiping. Sorry, bro. <laughs> now he's involved with the Russells. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. Is rustling an option? Nah. Alright. It's alright, bro. <laughs> oh, hey, dude. Is this your mine? Wow, that's amazing. You should see my brother. So apparently we're not allowed in the mine. Is that because Pajama Sam's in there right now? Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't. Why is that? I think I'm stuck. Alright, dude, if it's your family mine and you don't want us to learn your trade secrets, that's perfectly fine. You can just say so. What's this way? I just like the overall setting. Like, you've got these, like, cool little, like, coral cacti. Oh, poor guy. It just, it really looks like a western, you know? But it still doesn't lose, like, the classic Freddy Fish, like, aesthetic of it being underwater. It's really nice. Hey! It's a jellyfish. Watch out for the jellyfish, Luther. They can sting you. Okay. Ouch! Ouch. There must so, yeah. be a way to get off. You gotta time it, so basically it's the first one. Ouch! As the first one's about to reach the top is when you want to go. Just like that. We made it! I knew we could do it! Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! Very nice. It's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah. I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. The crank handle is one of the quintessential Humongous Entertainment items. It's in Freddy Fish 4, it's in Freddy Fish 1, it's also in Pajama Sam 2. It might be even, even more that I can't think of. And now that we've gone through once the jellyfish are like, oh, cool, cool, you passed our test, so you can just go through whenever you want. Thank you. It's all just a game to them. Yeah, I really like the world building of this game, though. It's great. Briny Gulch is a great setting. So we do have enough purple sea urchins to get the gum. We actually aren't going to need the gum, though. So we'll come back later. Maybe we'll want to buy a nut later. What's through this way? Oh, hey, bro. What's up? My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Oh, hey, he's got the bow tie. Well, he doesn't have the hat or the buckle, but he's got the bow tie, so at least he's one third part rustler. Also, maybe we can get that bow tie from him. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The apple of my I traded away my Monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't now. 
Okay, you traded Monica for a bow tie. That's that's a bad deal, man. Monica's nice. Whatever. Your cooking smells good. It's a Harris Lamb special super stew. My own recipe. That could either be really good or really bad. Oh. Not quite ready. All right, well, I mean, good luck, partner. <laughs> oh, hey, it's another purple series, and yes, please. Hey, Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? It, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple search and over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Free wood? I've noticed a lot of stuff in this game is in Humanix Entertainment games are free, so that way you can just pick it up. Also, this is like two screens away from the construction guys. They literally can't just be, hey, you know, I, f I saw a sign that said free wood back there, and they were hanging out free six by sixes. Exactly what we needed. Let's go get one. Nope. Let's wait till two kids come along and get them to do it for us for free. <laughs> it says free wood. This should be useful. Boy, I hope those edges are sanded. <laughs> Freddy, how did you do that? <laughs> That's kind of insane, Freddy. Oh, the cabaret is in Monstro's mouth, apparently. It says cabaret. Okay, hey, bro. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. It's nice to meet you both. My name is Luke. Boy, Luke, you must have a really big mouth. Uh, I, I mean, that didn't come out right. That's okay. I knew what you meant. And it is big. That's how come um, I get to be the town cabaret. Cabaret? What's that? We have plays and singing and different kinds of acts right inside my mouth. That's me. Can we see? Well, the cabaret's closed right now. But sure, take a look. This is not going to end well for us, is it? Hey, this is neat. She's got chandeliers in her mouth. Uh... Please don't do that, dude. That's not. That's not cool. I really like that music there. And also, hey, look at that! It's a ten-gallon hat. Hey, look! It's a ten-gallon hat. Oh boy! It's stuck in there pretty good. Yeah. So just. Wanted, how would that get there? She was probably eating someone who had a 10 gallon hat on and now it's like wedged in between her teeth. Ugh. Let's get out of here before she eats us. That would be good. All right, uh, later, Fluke. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. Deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. Uh huh. Harmonica, harmonica. To play you was to kiss you. But now all I have is this old bow tie. Oh, Monica, how I miss you. Why did you trade away your harmonica if you liked it so much? Well, I really wanted a bow tie back then. Now I trade back in a second. <laughs> well, I really wanted to be a rustler. <laughs> I can only get the bow tie though. The bow tie is just the universal symbol of being a rustler. That's why he can't get a job now. It's because everyone's like, you're a rustler, we're not gonna hire you. Hey bros. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect, 
Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Well, that was easy. Does it just need one nail for that? Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. <laughs> Again, they're underwater, but they can still have coffee breaks. Also, I love how their coffee mugs have the caution sign, like symbols on them. Do you think we should uh, come to the square dance? I don't know. You're not exactly the best dancer. I'm a terrific dancer. It was just that one time that I slipped. I did wind up with a bruise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 cause he's a hammerhead and wham, nailed the guy. Oh, ho, ho, that was unintentional. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we could borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. What if you, it's like, all right, your next job, you gotta screw in a bunch of screws. Dang it. <laughs> Why don't we give it to the kids? <laughs> Hmm. Hi, Slim. Hope you get your harmonica back. Uh, hey, you. What's up? Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh, no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Hmm. I hear you, bro. As an introvert, I hear you. Um. This doesn't look okay. What's going on here? Look at that poor guy spinning on the propeller. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I forgot about the Jeez! He's tied to the propeller. Oh my! Is this a new fro ride? See, this is why I don't like these spinny rides at amusement parks. It's just designed to make you barf. I don't like barfing. Look, Luther! Another purple sea urchin. Boy, somebody's been leaving these all over the place. <laughs> Let's just completely ignore the guy spinning like crazy on the fan blade. <laughs> we don't need to worry about that at all. Yes, yeah, so we gotta turn that off and we can use this, this lever to do it. So you'll notice there's an orange handle on it. That indicates where you need to put it. Uh oh, here comes the kelp casserole. I think that did something. Did it now. Oh, it's slower now. Get me off here! Okay, at least it's slower now. I think that did something. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> Yeah, so that controls how fast the fan moves, basically. And we could stay here all day if we wanted, but we gotta move here. You! I think that did something. Orange handle moving on the orange. And it'll stop. It might have a different color handle depending on when you do it, though. This poor guy. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Hi! Well, pleased to meet you. I'm Sheriff Shrimp, the local lawman. I'd shake your fins, but as you can see, I'm a little tied up right now. So the sheriff didn't go out of town. Someone tied him up. Watch this, Freddy. I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. And in Freddy Fish 2. Nice going, Luther. Um... Sheriff Zachariah Shrift is in your deck. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some rustlers who- But I must be off. There's law breaking afoot somewhere. I can smell it. 
but... Yeah, whoever tied you up there. You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh, I'm sorry, Luther. Wow, that's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. Of, and of course, Freddy was the best at the Fish Scouts, as you all know. Because she's the quintessential overachiever. This could come in handy. Yeah, in case we need to tie someone up to the propeller and turn it on the highest setting. <laughs> that would be great. Anyhow, I think that's where we're going to leave the video today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. We saved the sheriff today. That's pretty great. Although, he's not doing it if you're at the rustling. He's just like, Ew, you're not supposed to be loitering here. <laughs> he's going after the low-key criminals. Which makes sense, because he's tiny and doesn't seem to have a pistol on him. So... Maybe he can't deal with the rustlers, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.